Well, my name is Mess Bahon and I started Capoeira in 1974. The first time I brought Capoeira to Canada was 1990. And uh, today the group has grew up, it's split up everywhere. We have a group in 26 countries. So, uh, and today is the one of the best day we celebrate the, the Batizado, the Capoeira ceremony, about graduations. A lot of people don't know what is Capoeira, they create their own conclusion. A lot of people think, oh, this is a dance, this is a martial arts, this is a break dance. But to understand Capoeira, you have to train it. Because Capoeira has so many aspects, not just one aspect like a dance. Or people, a lot of people, when they do martial arts, they do one thing. When they do dance, it's the only dance. When they do music, it's only music. Capoeira is everything. So to know Capoeira, you have to train in Capoeira. You have to know the histories and philosophy of Capoeira. Well, my name is Camara, and uh, as it relates to Ashe Capoeira, I was, uh, when our master came to Vancouver, I was his first student in North America. For me, why, why did I want to take it? I think for me, it gave me a chance to see myself more. Because Capoeira, probably the hardest uh, opponent to conquer is oneself. And I found that the Capoeira gave me a new way of seeing, a new way of feeling, a new way of understanding how to even use my body. So with that new f language or movement, that new vocabulary through the movement gave me a new way of speaking. Uh, my name is Marcus Vinicio. My nickname is Osuguru. I've been training Capoeira as long as I can remember, probably like 20 years now. My dad, I'm uh, Mesti Bahon's son, and I feel Capoeira, like the trick to Capoeira is the surprise. And I like, if, if something happens to you that you're not expecting, it hurts much more than something that you're expecting and you see it coming. Like, before Lala's fight even happened, like, we always study, because I fight, right? So we've always been studying how people react to Mealua's. Mealua's is the spinning heel kick that Lalo did to knock out that guy. And usually when we throw one, somebody will go back, and then they'll move forward, right? So what happened, Lalo tried to set him up, tried to put him on the corner. He went in there, he's like, he tried to be as unorthodox as possible. Like we talked about it before the fight, don't go in and don't just stand face to face with him and try to brawl him out. Go there, make yourself look weird. The guy's gonna be like, what the hell? Like set him up against the rope and then just throw the two male lures. Oh. 